on Fahey. Well, it's a good song, though. Thank it's a great you. song. Well, thank, okay, thank you. It's too late to apologize? What are they going to apologize about? <laughs> you know, I, I already had, I had uh, the Apache song playing earlier. I didn't want to repeat it. You know, try to get some kind of variety around here, you know? He's appealing to the masses. Yeah, I have to go to, you know, <laughs> diverse the music around to the crowd. Haters in the building. <laughs> <laughs> nice save. Cracky action. Joyce going to shout out to Craigie. Craigie not able to put that one down. Great save there from Team Pink. Going to keep five. Going to go to the outside. And number five, Ellie Franti. Give her the point and her team one nothing. Coach, you get to the point where it's the third set now. You've seen who you have. Mm -hmm. Now now you just combine it. Is that what we're looking at? Yeah, there? now you're you're playing with the parts that you, you see what the girls can do and you're kind of gonna start piecing parts together of who you think will fit well and where. Now that they have connections for them, this is when you start seeing uh, some of their best volleyball. Joyce gonna have to just free ball this one over. And then a little <laughs> miscommunication between Davis and, and Craigie. <laughs> Not really touching the ball on that one. Two <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Team Pink. Well, we have a second, we want to thank our technical crew here. Of course, Courtney Cross, Damian Barone, Scott Brinke. Brinke, man. Oh. And then Davis's kill attempt from the right <laughs> side there on the slide. Goes too far out of bounds, so give it the point to Team Pink once more off to a three and nothing a lead to start this third set off. The Libero on the Alpine is All right, back for the serve once more will be Team Pink. Just getting out of the net. Joyce is going to go to the middle back there. That was number 24, Heather Meyer. And then Joyce able to get a hand on it, but then Meyer saying no, she's not going to die for that one. So we get the point to Team Pink once more. Four nothing run to start this third set. Was it tough in the coach showcase? Coach having some players wanting to play out of position. Uh, that was a little bit difficult, but for the most part, they were all really accommodating. If I said, "Hey, would you mind if I put you here for a game?" They're like, "Okay, <laughs> no problem." All right, and then Team White gets the first, their first point of this third set. Taylor Back to serve for Team White will be Taylor Craigie. St. Charles North. My neck of the woods. All right, going to go to the outside of Franti, and then it goes off the antenna. So give the point to Team White. Is that where you went to high school? Two. No, I did not. You went to Larkin. I went to Larkin High School. Oh, I don't even know where that is. Oh. Yeah, I, that's what I was going to say. I don't either. Really? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, a, not, not the best with maps. Coach is like, I went to Larkin Homecoming in 05. No. <laughs> 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 the look she just gave. <laughs> no. <laughs> Franti gets the great kill there from the outside, and she will have the serve, and then that one goes right into the net. So give the point to Team White. 5 3. But I'm flattered that you would think I went to the prom in 05. <laughs> I was out just of not college Larkin. L at Larkin that time. was the bad part. <laughs> No. <laughs> Both. If I had gone to prom at all at 05, I would have been considered a, something of a nasty old cooter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Team Pink gets the point. 6 3. They have the lead. And back to serve 14. Pink will be number 13. Rachel Menarek. Rachel Menarek to serve. Standing right hand serve. Just getting over the net. Craigie. Is handling that one. Gonna have to free ball this one coming right back to her. Gonna go to the outside. Oh, and that one goes Katie down. Katie Olsen with the kill from the outside. 7 3 in favor of Team Pink. Back to serve for Team Pink once more will be Rachel Miner. Just getting over the net. Craigie now with the handle of that one once more. Joyce getting the last touch on that one. Give the point to Team Pink, 9-3. Coach, when you're setting up a defense in an all-star game like this, what do you tell the girls? You keep it simple for the most part. You don't need to do anything real fancy with the defense. Most of it relies on the blockers and then just making sure that if you are getting to perimeter that everybody just gets to their spots, gets fast to the line so that they're in the best place to make a play as possible. 
but nothing fancy. Joyce going to Patrick in the middle. She's the nine tonight. She's going to go right side to him and as she tips this one and it goes down to give the point to Team White. 9-4, five-point lead for Team Pink. And Jimenez will have the serve. Standing right hand serve, St. Charles East High School. Craigie gonna go up to Jimenez. The St. Charles connection. <laughs> and go to the outside. And number nine, Katie Olson with the kill once more. So give Team Pink the point. 10-4. When, when you're coaching, you know, we saw right there Jimenez looked over the coaches and got some instruction. What what do you think that instruction was? Where to aim the, the serve potentially? Yeah, typically it's about either where should I be serving the ball or possibly about a play to run because she is a setter. So maybe where who should I be setting? What's my best options right now? Where should I put the ball on the outside? If they are getting blocked, you need to know what your options are. All right, we're going to have a time out here by Team White and Coach Eric Eastman. 11-4 is your score here on SportstownChicago.com. 11-4 in favor of Team Pink. Want to take your car to get it fixed? Well, have no fear. High Tech Auto Body of Skokie is here. We make sure all of our repairmen are iCar Gold Class certified professionals to make sure the job gets done right. High Tech Auto Body of Skokie is located on the corner of Howard and Lehigh. Our address is 5950 West Howard Street in Skokie, Illinois. To make an appointment, call 847-626-0505. High Tech Auto Body of Skokie. We're here to get the job done right. Ryan Fahey and Dr. B. Ferrari. We're here in this third set. 11 4 is the score, and then that one goes out of bounds out of the timeout. Good timeout call there from Coach Eric Eastman. Gets some momentum back. 11 5 in favor of Team Pink. Back to serve for Team White. Number 24, Heather Meyer. They're going to go to the middle. To Lauren Leverance couldn't do much with that one. Great day. Craigie with kill time from the outside. And then it goes down. Last one to touch it was Alex Francie in the back row. 11 6 in favor of Team Pink. Back to serve for Team White will be Heather Meyer once more. Coach, thoughts on the timeout there? Smart. It worked. Nothing makes a coach more happy than to get a coaching point if the team serves out of bounds. We keep track of those on my team. And, and what do you get for that? Nothing, just oh. pride in knowing that I had, we keep track of my coaching points versus the other team's coaching points. And so if I feel I outduel the coach, then. Our, our, isn't every point a coach point though? Well, you like to think so. Okay. But <laughs> ones that I physically actually have, <laughs> that I have uh, legitimate control over, like timeouts. And that's gonna go to Joyce on the right side. Craigie keeping it alive. Him and that's gonna dump this one over. Oh. Team Pink able to keep it alive though. And then great placement from Team Pink in that back corner. No one there. 13 so to 6. Of, a lot of timid plays still. By the third game, you'd like to see them being more aggressive. I'm kind of surprised that some of them aren't taking more charge. It's your last game. Be fun. aggressive. Be, Be aggressive. aggressive. YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, a little miscommunication at the net there, coming back over on Team White side. So give the point to Team Pink, 14-6. What would be that aggressiveness? What are you seeing that's lacking right now in terms of aggression? Well, you know, taking that extra step to hustle down a ball, letting balls drop. You know, as a setter, she's a phenomenal setter. She, I know she doesn't know her teammates necessarily. She hasn't played with them before. But you still got to go after that ball, push people out of the way, get a hand on it. Take charge. Right Stop there. tipping the ball. Be aggressive. <laughs> and Craig hitting that one out of bounds too far. Give the point to Team Pink. 10 point lead at 16 to 6. This one's coming our way. Oh, oh. Great save there. Coach right. just oh, saved coach. the $10,000 try catch. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I can do to help. I still got game. 17-6 is the score in favor of Team Pink. 
Jimenez getting over the right side. Oh, that's gorgeous. And that was a great <laughs> kill <laughs> from <laughs> two in a row for Coach. Yeah. That was beautiful. N she nice kill, by the way. Good job. Thank you. 17, <laughs> <laughs> 7, 10 points. I could have gotten more on it. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you didn't go full force on that one? No. Oh, okay. I, I, tell you, back, I, I had a self-preservation punch at State, man. That could have rivaled the best <laughs> Cat -like of them. Cat-like reflex. <laughs> yeah. Bam. <laughs> Jenna Bruce like, we'll have a serve for team, Mike. Just getting it over. Yeah, go to the right side. And Leverance could not put it down. Him and I was going to go outside. Craigie, Craigie going along. Great play there from Team Pink to keep it alive. And then Ellie Ranting into the net there. Four contacts will be the call. 17 to 8. He might try and make a run. Is it got to be hard to set up the slide in an exhibition like this? A slide would be an extremely hard set to run just because it is such a specialized timing. There's different ways you can run a slide. So that is definitely one of the harder ones to do. And so it amazes me that some of them are attempting it and executing it to the level they are. All right, getting the point there was Team White. 17-9, Ellie Franti wants more into the net. Jana Brusick back with the serve. Just getting over the net. Gonna go to the outside and Franti, Franti going cross court. Great dig there for Bruce to keep live. Him now is gonna go to the outside and Craig, Craig, just tipping this one. Great play there from Team Pink to keep live. LeBron's gonna go to the outside. Uh, Franti wants more. Him now is gonna go to the outside and Craig, he's oh, gonna tip this one. Fantastic roll shot. 17-10 in favor of Team Pink. That's just Pure athleticism. Totally. She saw that ball extremely well, made a great choice. Smart because everybody had been hitting hard, back, 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 changing it up. It's a hard shot to hit, too. And that one going short on the ace. Dana Rusick with the ace just over the top of the net. And then we're going to have a timeout from Team Pink. So we'll be right back here on SportstownChicago.com. Hey friends, this is Tom Waddle. You may know me as good old number 87 or as the better half of the Waddle and Sylvie show. People often ask me, hey Tom, how could you be so slow and make it in football? Well, I ignore that question and then they ask, Tom, how can I be on radio and TV like you? I tell them it takes drive and determination and you need to learn how it all works. At the Illinois Center for Broadcasting in Lombard, you can do just that. ICB's enrolling students for day and evening classes right now. You can learn how to be a sports talk show host, a producer, do play-by-play -play or shoot and edit video. Plus, you'll have a chance to get internships where you can tap into the knowledge of industry pros. They have affordable tuition and financial aid for those. And back to the action here on SportsTownChicago.com. Him and I is able to get up to Joyce. Joyce is going to go outside to Craigie. Now they're going to put it down. A great dig there from Team Pink. And then that one goes down to the far sideline. Lauren Leverance with the kill. 18-11. Still in favor of Team Pink. Thoughts, Coach, on having it be best of five here for the All-Star game? It's tough. It really is because it, best of five is a totally different mindset from coaching a best of three. I mean, you're going into this third game here and there's not quite that intensity that you would need in, to push through uh, that you would have just in a best of three. So it's different, but it gets, it's very, it's what they need to expect because next year they're all gonna be playing best of five at college. They play there for Craig to keep it alive for Team White and Jimenez just doubling this one over. Great oh, one hand is set there from Team Pink, but great dig. From number 24, Heather Meyer. Nice play. And a great dive there from number nine, Katie Olsen, but could not keep it alive. Off her hand and out of bounds. 18-12 in favor of Team Pink, six point lead. She is seeing the court extremely well right now. Mixing up, adding great shots. You, you saw Hannah Davis do a decoy. Is that just something you set up on your own or? As a middle, you, you get in the habit of doing that. I mean, you want to be running and available and up in every single play. That's really what your goal is, to make yourself available. But by doing that, that also works as a decoy. And if you've run enough middle and established it, then it will actually fake out the middle from time to time. And then Joyce going outside to Jimenez, and she is denied at the net to give the point to Team Pink, 20-12. Back serve for Team Pink, Ali Franti. Right, free ball this one over on, on Team Pink's side. Here we go to the right side at number 13. Rachel Menarek with the kill, 21-12. Ali Franti, 
Granty will have to serve once more, 14 pink. And we did not get a signal call <laughs> from the R1, so we will have a redo. 21 12, still the score. Franti with the serve, still. Kind of like a false start there. False start. And <laughs> kind of iced her a little bit there and goes yeah. into the net. So 21 13 in favor of Team Pink. And checking into the game for Team White, we number 11, Chris Aguirre. Back to serve for Team White, Taylor Creek. Why do a sub at uh, this point? Perhaps. You think you might just have a little bit better option matchup with the outside hitter. All right, man. Four hit call will be on Team White after that one. So give the point to Team Pink. 22-13 and checking in the game for Team Pink. We'll be the round. And coming right back at her. Give the point to Team White. A little too far out of bounds there on the overpass from Team White, 22-14. Back to third for Team White will be number 15, Carolyn Yerkes. And then Brown not able to handle that one too well. So give the point to Team White, 22-15. Yerkes will serve once more for Team White. Seven point lead for Team Pink. Gonna go to the right side there, number 12, hey, Nicole Slimkoll. And she's able to put that one down, not too much behind that one, 23-15. Hey, Nicole Slimkoll will have the serve for Team Pink. Just getting on that, Craigie getting up to Joyce, and she's gonna set oh, the nice middle. Save. Great save there from Team Pink. And then Jimenez going up on the overpass, hey, hey, make sure it stays on that side. 23-16 is the score. Jimenez will have the serve for Team White. Getting it over the net. Gonna go to the middle there in Leverance. Able to put it down though. Gonna go to the outside and Gearing. Gearing going too far out of bounds. 24-16 in favor of Team Pink. Set point number one for Team Pink. Came back to serve. Katie Olsen. Craigie getting up to Jimenez. Jimenez gonna go right side and Gearing. Gearing. Call will be. To Team Pink, so give them the set 25 to 16 here in the third set. And we will be right back here on SportsTownChicago.com after a quick timeout. Time 